Hi everybody. Hey, how's it going? So we are here at the Peoria Auto Show. I'll show you guys. It's at the, what is this called? Peoria Civic Center. Peoria Civic Center. So yeah, we are going to be taking you along and showing you guys the vehicles and Number. all the good stuff. Blake doesn't know yet, but they have a nice little surprise there and we'll show you guys in the next couple clips. Um, our surprise to Blake. He's going to absolutely love this. Anything to say? I'm going to look at some cars. <laughs> Nick's excited. So see you guys on the next clip. Bye. Let's see what kind of Camaro this is. Oh, just the 1SS. They want 44 or something. Nice clean engine bag. Nice clean interiors. Oh. Too bad for a Camaro. Got a little back seat. Little paddle shifters. A bad little car. I couldn't speed them $42,000 on them. Definitely a sharp looking vehicle. Cheap Wrangler Willys. Some nice rims on it. It's the interior. Hard to get in. Such a high low. Shifters. Bad as she be though. So lift up's hard to get in and out. It does have back seats as you can tell. Get your spare on the back. Nice Jeep. Get your blue Sierra. Sahara. Got the blue hard top. Four door. Got plenty of space for the kids. Got a nice spot in the back to store stuff. Again with the other one, it's got the window roll up and roll down there and there. Other seats will say Sahara on them. Or something like this is gonna cost you about 48000 Definitely a nice Jeep though, but I don't see more than 48000 on it. Colors. This Jeep Renegade's definitely for you. Actually, it shows as a lighter blue in my camera, but it's more like a turquoise. But here it's called Bikini Metallic. It's not bad. 26,000 for one of these little renegades. The color difference is amazing between what the car actually looks like and what's popping up on my phone. Nice little center console. Unlike the other Jeeps, you actually roll your windows up on the doors. I like that a lot better. Plenty of room in the back for the kids. Got your uh, grab bar there for if you're driving crazy. Your passenger can hang on. Not bad, but I kind of want to show you guys the color of it, but that's insane how the color is so much different from the person to what it is on my phone. Let's try to see if I actually get the real color, but. Huh. All right, guys, we'll see you guys here in the next clip. Car, this is the Toyota is it CHR. Sticker price $25,000. Nice looking SUV, but this is what's getting me is the four door the hidden latch up there. It's kind of hidden, makes it more of a sleek design. 
It's definitely kind of cool. Plug Plenty of space in the back. It doesn't have a power lift though. Yeah, both sides of the car. The latch is right up here on the top. Ooh, black and blue interior. The blue actually shows up really nice on my phone. And then in the front here, look at that. That is crazy. Get in the passenger side of the way. The steering wheel's not my way. Nice big screen in the middle. Such a sleek design with the blue. Notice a lot of cars at the show this year have the blue interior in them. As you guys can see we're in a big warehouse looking area. Got cars on both sides. But yeah. Not bad looking toy. Teen Ram Limited. It's also an eco diesel. Nice, it's got that shiny gloss to it. 3.0 liter eco diesel. Definitely a nice, beautiful truck though. Gotta step back so you guys see it from a distance. Definitely chromed out. Angela really loves these trucks. I don't know if they come standard with a little power step there. But kind of nice what they do. Gives it that sleeker design. You got plenty of room in the back seat for kids or adults. It looks like they actually kind of move forward. Ooh. We got all the floor, got compartments under the floor, as you guys can see. Got the big giant screen that Angela absolutely loves. The moon roof up top. Nice, beautiful rims. Gives it a nice little sleek design. Got your LEDs in the back. Definitely a sleek looking truck. Let's see what the price is. It's gonna kind of scare me, especially the ones on the ship. Seventy-one thousand dollars. Here's right, a fifty-six thousand dollar truck, limited four-wheel drive. Not bad mileage though. Especially for an eco diesel, you get about ten more than what you do with the normal truck. Yeah, let's see if they got more room on this side too for storage. I think I'd definitely get it. Let's move over here to the charger. Love the blue color for them. It does have Brembo's. Nice clean interior. It seems like it's a little bit easier. It helps show you guys this from the passenger seat. Two gauges. Center console is not, or the screen's not as big on this one as the truck, but do have all kinds of storage. Cup holders that can be hidden. Back seat, got cup holders. Got your moonroof or sunroof. This one's a 392 Hemi. Base, or total price. Sorry for the glare. 
43,000. Definitely a sharp looking car. Got the little bananas on the bottom. The splitter. Always wanted one of these. Get your SRT Challenger now. Don't have the bananas though. Where's the plus? Nice, beautiful rims. Got your Brembos, nice and wide. $85,000 price. Ooh, it's a SRT Hellcat Red Eye, the wide body. You can definitely see from the side view, it does have the nice wide body to it. Let's get inside. Nope, they got this one all locked up. But, so there's a horrible glare. It's definitely a nice looking one. No, I, just, I didn't even realize it did have the Hellcat logo or the badges on the side. Didn't even make me think it was a Hellcat. As you can see again from this way, you can see that wide body kit on it. There's the Hellcat logo I was looking for earlier. Alright, let's see where it started over there, and I haven't made it that far yet. Love looking at all these different types of vehicles they got out here. Mitsubishi's. I love Mitsubishi's, but I'm kind of mad that they got rid of the Lancer. Hopefully, in the next few months, we can change that and I can maybe get me a Lancer. What was this? The Eclipse? So they even got rid of the, ooh, the Eclipse Cross. They even got rid of the Eclipses and real or for the cars and turn everything into SUVs. $26,000. Actually, it's got comfortable seats in it. Kind of reminds me a lot of like a Mazda, though. I guess you can move around on your screen. It's just basic, kind of bland. The seats are about the only thing I love on this thing. How about you guys? But I kind of wish I had kept the actual clips. Front end's nice on it though, more of a sneaker design. And Kia's. It's just the Outlander, the Outlander Sport. Oh, Mitsubishi's changed up so much I don't even know what they have anymore. It's the Outlander Sport, so this is the smaller of the two. Interior. Again, like the Eclipse Cross is just basic, bland. I walk over here and check out the Lexus. I did sit in that green car the first time because Blake wanted to go find the, the like a little RC car track for kids and the inflatable. So that's where Blake and Angela's at. I did sit in this car earlier. Definitely a weird feeling. Just a sharp looking Lexus. On the camera, the green's a little bit lighter color, but the person's more of a darker. 104,000. What about you guys, but I don't think I can afford that. Comfortable sitting though, but I don't see spending that kind of price. I was kind of hoping that it wasn't as packed today because we were supposed to get a snowstorm. Hoping it was going to keep people away, but the snow's definitely pushed off till this evening, so. Looks like everybody's coming out. GX 465. Oh, sorry for the. That was horrible. I'm at that 58,000. The glare of the window is horrible. With that. Ooh, I don't like that back door though. That is just really weird. I think I'd rather have the doors that go up, not out. 
out. But that's just my personal preference. You guys might prefer something different. 58,000, this thing really isn't that bad compared to what some of these other ones have been running today. Like 104 for that little car. There's a BMW here that's $126,000. Not bad interior on them, but I'm not much of a Lexus person, I guess. Out of all the Tundras to bring, they bring this one. Kind of let down. Let's get a Crew Max we can sit in. Small interior. Still not bad for just being an extended cab. Knob off the shifter. Charger. At least they brought a good Tacoma. We'll see you guys here in the next clip as I work my way down through the cars. It's the Hyundai Velocer. I actually sat in this one earlier. I actually liked it. Sleek. I like the little red on the front, red on the sides. Doesn't have Brembo's though. Nice sleek. Decent gas mileage. This one they want 30,000 for it. But on this side it's a two door. Just not bad. It's got drive mode, it's got like a race mode. This one's actually stick shift. It's got the blue seat belts, which is kind of cool. Fiber look on that. There's your trunk. With it closed. It's got a nice sleek design. Dual exhaust with the, I don't even know what you call those. With the little air vents or air flows. But on this side, it's three door. So you get the kiddos in. There you go. It's actually got cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my phone trying to show you guys the inside. It's getting too excited. But it's got cup holders. Nice little spot for Blake to sit. It's your passenger side. Plenty of room for your passenger. There's still pretty good room in the back seat for a kid. But yeah. It's not a bad little car. Let's see, I come around this side maybe see about popping the hood. Showing you guys what's underneath it. I'm curious. It's great about the Central Illinois Auto Show. You can kind of just check these cars out and do what you want. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. Yeah. It does have a turbo, which that's a plus. An IT turbo. Lake is testing the cars. I'm going to be driving cars here. Lake is this yellow Snickers car. Push it forward, Blake. Blake. There's like car stuck. Push it forward. <laughs> go ahead. You need to cut through, go right ahead. Oh, Blake's car stuck. There's Blake's car riding all up alongside the wall. Here, you want mommy to, you want my mom, mommy to hold this part? You drive. There's Blake. <laughs> Back 
Back up. Go. Go forward. Turn it. Oh, back up. Buddy, you're making it all turn funky. Back it up. We're backing it up. All right, go ahead. Oh, someone crashed into you. All right, drive us race. Uh-oh, we're racing now. You want mommy to control this? All right, so mommy, oh, my balloon's in the way, sorry y'all. Mommy will push forward, you drive, okay? Ready? Five lap race, I'll keep up with first and second place every time you cross the start finish line. Here Good we work. go. Get set. Go. Go, babe. <laughs> Turn it, buddy. Go. Ah, Blake, you're, Blake, you're over there. Seventeen cars, two to go. Nine still second, three to go. Seventeen, final lap. Uh-oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Seventeen calls. Seventeen, good job. We're 17. done. Good job, buddy. Good job. 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 All right, we gotta switch out. Okay, we gotta go around and get back in line this way. Come on. <laughs> Track. They have like five or six little wheels, and this is all completely free at the Peoria Auto Show. On to the next look. So you got more cars down there. We got Ford Chevy down this side. So yeah, Central Illinois is not a bad car show. It's pretty much your dealerships bring their cars out so that you just crawl around them, see what you like, see what you don't like, give you business cards out. Mazda's, me and Angel just went and looked at a 2020 CX-5 because we love our CX-5s. Ford, which they do have the Shelby GT500 here today. They won't let you sit in it, sadly. But they do have them to check out. The C8 Corvette, I think, is here. I don't like the front end and the new escapes. It just seems kind of weird. Little Ranger. There's the GT500. Just a sharp looking car. Don't really like the spoiler on the back though. It's more of like a fast and furious. Sorry for the interruption. Angela called me while I was in the middle of recording. She's trying to find me. Her and Blake are done over at the bounce houses and they're here to find me. Um, Blake will be all excited to tell you guys all about that. Just the Mustang 5.0. Here's the back side of this one. Nice Good afternoon, so Peoria. Thank you so much for joining us here That's this good. afternoon uh, at the 2020 Auto Show. We want to invite you guys to join us in a Ford trivia contest. If you've already heard the announcement about our $50. Ford's come out with so many different new ones. I don't know what they have anymore. Oh, here comes Blake and Angela. Well, let's see what this one is. This is the escape. What's up, bud? Um, you want to do the car game? You want to do the car game? Yeah, with you. And oh, okay. And we can do the car game here. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. It's yeah, I'm going to show you guys more of the GT500, but they started speaking over there and it got way too This is Daddy. This is already done. Ready. Daddy. Here's another one that's got the weird open gate style. The mommy did it two times. Well, Blake is ready for me to go over and check out the car racing game with him. So we'll yeah, see you guys here in just a second. Alright y'all, Blake is 88 this time. He's going for a second time. My child loves his car. There he is. He's stuck over there. Someone help turn him in the right way. There he is. 
Every time it gets going, someone's always crashing. You definitely gotta get daddy over here to help him out. Daddy can better explain how to do this. Yeah, so this is kind of nice. They have a little fall free. And yeah, they do have Alan's house and face painting over in the corner. The Subaru section. The Outbacks. Price on this one, 40000 do not like the seat color on this thing. Yeah, I'll pass on that. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the leather color like that. Ah. Angela and Blake are staring at a... We're watching videos of puppies. <laughs> videos of puppies. We're out here looking at cars and they're watching videos of puppies. Is this one the Legacy, I'm guessing? Oh, Forrester. This is right there on the headlight. Not a bad SUV. Kind of working our way over to the Nissans now. So, so. Here's where we're at. There's your Ford way over there. And then we came in way down over that way. Nissan Armada. Now this is just a big SUV. 65,000 for the Platinum Edition all-wheel girl. That four-wheel drive. You guys can see that green color. That's kind of a nice little green one for the Pathfinder Rock Creek. 44,000. A lot of them have the different kinds of stitching this time around. Like, Nice little orange, subtle stitching on this thing. It says Rock Creek right there on the seats. Come on the passenger side, because it seems like a little bit easier. Yeah, it's carbon fiber look to it. For your cup holders, you got, er, the console, you got the upper, and you got your lower. The seats aren't bad. Let's have a, uh, like a sunroof way back there for the kids. Plus, you got the one up here in the front. Not a bad little SUV. What's that? I love about this show is the fact that you can get in and out of these cars. I'm sure most of them always do that too, but this is the only one I've ever been to. A little push button, automatic lift. It is three row seating. It's kind of nice. Oh, you gotta pull your headrest up too. <laughs> that is different. Maybe. I don't need, there we go. So there's your room. They got plenty of cup holders in this thing. Blake has found a truck he wants to go look at. So we'll get this closed up. Push the button. Maybe. There we go. You gotta hold the button. Tricky little things. But yeah, we come out here every year or try to at least. That way, you just see the different cars. This is the Pro Max 4 Titan. Wonder if it's gas or if it's diesel. Well, look at that stud driving it. <laughs> Blake's stud. hiding. I'm a female. She's the stud driving the truck. No. Cup holders for days. Pulls down more cup holders. Kids got your vents, your USB plug-ins, got your little cigarette lighter, you got your three-prong plug-in. Angel found the truck she wants. No, I like the, the RAM a lot better. She did. She well, I went and showed her that platinum RAM and she was in love with it. This one's got the V8. Yes or not comes diesel. Get your little frontier over here. We didn't try to buy a Nissan a couple years ago though, but I had a Ford Focus and no one wouldn't make deals with that thing. Surprise, surprise. Now they don't make focuses anymore. Pro Max 4 Frontier. But just basic. Versa. 
and just trying to figure out some of these cars. Yeah, well, it says you can wipe your foot underneath and it's not popping open. I might not have the battery hook. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I, mean, I don't know what it is, but I like that color a little bit. Nissan Max, a Maxim. They actually have a Camry that looks very similar to this. And I love the Camry. Starting price, 43000 Just don't see spending. I love the orange little stitching though on these but i can't see spending forty three thousand for a nissan i don't know about you guys but i don't see that as a good buy we got a little hondas out this way this is the one i wanted to see right here the type r civic love the wing on the back of that thing this side view show you guys that wing it's got Brimbos, I think. Oh, that one doesn't say. But I think I saw where the fronts do say Brimbos on them. They won't let you, they got it roped off. I won't let you get close to this thing. So let's see if we can zoom in on the price. Maybe if I can find the price. They don't have a price on this thing. That is scary. <laughs> Blake lost, oh geez, I'm zoomed in still. <laughs> Blake lost his little, Get the triple exhaust right on the bottom. It's a little hatchback, which is 24, but it doesn't. Look at the body lines on this thing. So the air ducts on the side. The red racing type R seats. I know, the glare is horrible, guys. Sorry about that. But here's where it says Brembos. It's definitely a nice, nice car. We got more. Just a couple more. A little Civic down there. And just trying to be a balloon artist. Far from it. <laughs> It's now a wiener dog. It's a wiener dog. <laughs> As you guys saw Blake picking his nose. The CRV. Not for sale. I don't worry about that. I don't know why. <laughs> Got the fake wood. The gray seats. Just black. It does have a like an eco mode or something. <laughs> You got the, what is it, the black edition on the, what is this? This one is the Pilot. It's a little bit crisper. It does have the red stitching in this one. Check out the back seats. I think it's that minivan vibe. Guess what, Mom's a balloon artist. She Mom has it. fixed the wiener. <laughs> <laughs> that is a plus. Yes. And you can see she's got her own little balloon art on her wrist. Yeah, I got it. The guy made it for me. She is flirting with him, let's be honest. <laughs> flirting with the balloon artist guy. <laughs> now we're over here in the Acuras. Okay, her child might be sugared up for a while though. Blake just drank a cherry coke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, keep it on for pop wanting to play games. That is true. <laughs> Blake was fighting with us to not play with or keep playing the games. Oh, inside's beautiful. Forty-eight thousand. It kind of reminds me of like a Jersey look. Jersey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, not like not not like New, New Jersey, Jersey, but a Jersey. Where you zooming on my face there? That was pretty good. That is funky right there, though. Look at that. Hey, Ange. As she walks away from me, so she'll be. She'll be seeing this and when she says her views of it. But I kind of want to take a seat and see what it feels like now. Oh, actually, the seats are comfortable. It's kind of a nice little setup. You run your finger on it. Yeah. Not bad. It's got the sunroof all the way through the top. 
<laughs> the wood paneling. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, this one's got red interior on it. Let's see if it's got the center council the way the last one did. And it does. Did you see the center council on this one, hon? Look at the red seats, though. That is funky. Have you seen the center council on these yet? Yes. I was inside of it. Did you, did you see the center council? Yes, babe. Really? There's no comment about this. No. There's a hole through it. Okay. It's different. I figured you'd at least see something about that, but... You always lately you've been thinking I've been would be surprised by things but i know right apparently i don't know her like i think i know her i'm a different woman now <laughs> she's changed <laughs> so i'm not a big fan of the brown interior on these my camera angles are horrible now You're racing those little cars with blake kind of got me out of my groove and for some reason there we go i'll focus back in again nice escalade Oh geez, sorry guys. Yeah, no, I saw. There's people behind you. This is the Escalade. No, stay away from this thing with your drink. I've always wanted to drive one of these. Feels nice. It's actually got a charging station right there. So if you put your phone, yeah, tried to do it, it wouldn't work. But, storage, oh, that's cup holders. What's this one, this one slides. Storage. I love the store. oh yeah, look at that storage. But it's sleek, it's nice. It's got one sunroof here. It does have DVD players for the kids in the back. What? We're learning a lot with these camera angles. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, he wants to go in the back. Oh, Blake wants to check out the back seat. So here we go. Oh, it, goes up. it does oh, blow up. The footrests come out. It does have that minivan vibe again, where you got your open. Go ahead. Here, I'll hold your blue. You can go in there. Seats, I think you call it. Yeah, you can go in there. Yeah, that's that's called an expensive vehicle, baby. Open the oh. back. Can show you guys. There's your storage space right here if you have room three rows of seating. If you don't, you got even more room. But it's a big, big extra. It's SUV. nice that you have the option of the third row though. Yeah. It is nice. So if you're out with friends, okay, family, watch out. You can. Yeah, I like this auto show for the fact that you can pretty much play with these cars. You can pop the hoods if you want to. I like the van, like, captain seat setting. Is it, like, is it captain or is it bucket? Or, no, the bucket's long. Oh, it's a bucket. I think it's called See, guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the only about. thing I know about cars. I'm horrible. You guys are probably going to bash, or not bash me, but tell me everything that I don't know in the comment section, which is great because that way I learned. Like what? That one's got that weird storage at the bottom. So they're just sleek they're stylish i like them i always wanted to have a cadillac but i'm not rich or i don't want the payment so got your buicks everything's just got all these crazy different like center console storage sections this one is the I don't even know how to pronounce that, guys. I don't know my Buicks at all. Enclave. But it's an Enclave. AVR. Avenir. I don't know, guys. Sorry. 59,000. So we're slowly working our way around. I still gotta go back over and check the Chevys out, but there's where we came in, down that way. Now we're 
over into the Lincolns. Angela actually like that little maroon Lincoln right there. The uh, aviator, I don't even know. Let's see. Get your navigator here, which we'll check that here in a second. This is yeah, the aviator. So I was right. See someone pop the hood. The Lincoln logo actually lights up. That is actually kind of cool. That's fancy. This is the one that you liked earlier. <laughs> That's like seventy some thousand dollars. Is this the one from PC? Yeah. Yes. You see, it's kind of got like. Sort of a funkier seat. That's kind of cool. And then here's the navigator. As you can see, it's got the sunroof, moonroof, three rows of seating. Nice clean center console with the big screen. Lots and lots of storage. Got armrests for him and her. And Blake's checking them all out. <laughs> Daddy. As soon as he gets on camera, he runs. Daddy. What? Daddy. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna just pound me and harass me, but get the M M2. I don't think BMWs are letting me check them out as much. But can we see the price? Sixty-six thousand for the M2. Yeah, they're not going to let you sit in one of these, are they? Nope, they got them all locked up. Daddy! Dad! X3M. Ooh, that'd be Dad. They're all locked up. As you can see by someone trying to open them. I definitely like BMWs. I like the looks. They're stylish. They're just so expensive. This is the one I like. This is the $126,000. You can kind of see from the interior. Come here, come over on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of see the seats that way. The door's locked. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sleep. Yeah, it's locked. Come here. That's what I've been telling you. Yeah, this one's $126,000. Dad? It's the BMW M850i. Blake's checking it out. He thinks it's kind of cool. Dad. What, bud? Uh, Daddy, don't look at me. Okay. Daddy. Call the they used to call it. He don't want to be on camera, but yes. <laughs> and he there just popped his balloon. <laughs> they want 80000 for the X3M. Definitely nice. Then we're on to the GMCs. And this new weird tailgate. Apparently, you got a sound system in your oh, tailgate. Oh, that's so cool. I stepped out. Uh huh, give me that balloon. Get that out of your mouth. If it pops, it pops. Because Blake's putting oh, wow. balloons in his mouth. Nice rims. This is the Denali. C was it the GMC Sierra Denali? It's got the 6.2 liter Carbon Pro Edition. So you know that's not going to be cheap. Just a lot of chrome. 59000 59, for this one? Oh no, that's 59000 starting off for the Denali. Side step right there to get up with that tailgate. You don't need the side step. No. Alright, they're out of it. Check out the back seat. I love the ones that are coming out the option where the Nerf bars or side steps go in and out when the doors close. You can see. They go back in. But we're gonna open back up just to check out the front for you guys. Just has the sunroof on this one. 
engine hours. For being a Denali though, it seems kind of basic. Yeah, it's got the comfortable seats, but there's been a lot of other ones that have a lot better options. On them. Let's come back here and check out these bigger trucks. Sorry for the camera angle, guys. I'm just trying to move in and out of all the people. Someone left their balloon in here. Said for GMC and how they talk about everything else. Like that. Yeah, they got the nice, comfortable seats, but it's almost basic. It's almost a disappointment, I think, but it does have the Duramax on this one. I'm trying to be good about not getting kid or people's kids in the pictures. This is what the $74,000 Denali Yukon. But the problem with this, the auto show is great because you can walk in and check these cars out. But the auto show is not great because everybody just lets their kids run around and use these cars as jungle gyms. So, as you're trying to check cars out, move along, they're all just letting their kids just climb around and hang all over everything. They're not bad. Canyons. I didn't even know they made the canyons still until just recently I saw one on the road. What, oh, Blake? Um, can you let me do the car game all by myself? Blake's wanting to argue about going back to the car game. Right there, but, see, no. Yeah, I didn't know they still made these canyons until like, this, this past week. I saw one going down the road and it kind of shocked me. Except for Denali's though, like Daddy. Denali's supposed to be like top of the line, decked Yo, out. But I don't have it, I don't think. The new Mazda 30. The seats are very comfortable in this. We kind of sat in it because we do love our Mazdas. It's got the blue on the interior. Uh, this is more of a base model. The six, the Mazda three. And this one's the hatchback. It's 32 miles to the gallon. They want 28,000 for this one. Does have the leather seats. It's just a nice little car. Under the MX5, pretty much, aka the Miata. For a big guy, it is hard getting in and out of this little car. It's just so basic. Like as an older couple, I think this car would be a great little car just to cruise around and check out. But with kids, definitely not practical. Thirty-three thousand. So it's just, just a nice little car. Okay, now we're moving over to the Chevys. We got the Chevy Tahoe, which they did upgrade the front end on them now for 2020. I think 2021 they're supposed to be moving more towards the truck style though, which I'm not a fan of it. As you guys know, I'm kind of picky on my cars. I like weird cars, but some of these other bigger, fancier ones that cost 70 some thousand dollars, I'm very picky on. I do like the rims on this one though. Very sleek and stylish. Yeah, seventy-five thousand dollars. I'm gonna spend that one, pretty much a mortgage payment on a vehicle. I kind of want it super fancy, super decked out. Get the Colorado, a little Baja mount for the back, or for the spare tire. 
like them. They're kind of cool, but I don't know how Blake would handle a back seat like a long trip. I don't know how the off-road tires would do on a long trip. This one is the diesel though, it is Duramax. It does have more of a rugged bumper on it. Camaro. Yeah, let's see what the price of this one is. $53,000 for a Colorado diesel. I, I don't see spending that. When you can get the big Silverado for that. Camaro convertible. Don't know how that is for up front. The one I'm excited they did come back out with is the Chevy Blazer. I actually had a Blazer most of the time growing up driving. The red stitching. They got another one out here. It's blue with the red stitching, which is kind of cool. Nice big old rims on it. Front end looks sharp on these though. It's an RS. It's, it's just all around nice. We got it in black. Well, kind of like a Dodge sporty rim. Which this one doesn't have the red stitching like the other one does. Which you would think with the black and the red, it'd work out. Well, apparently they just put the red with everything else except for this one. This one is all wheel drive. Let's see what the price tag of this one is. 39, not bad. Well, this one, the price of it is 46. Honestly, I'd rather go with that one over this one. The black on black with the little red outline of the blazer. I kind of like that one better. New Corvette. Stingray logo on the back. As you guys can see, the Stingray logo right there in the middle. Mid engine. Doesn't have the center pipes like the old Stingray does, but I love the body lines of this car. Kind of reminds me of almost like a McLaren. <laughs> Let's kind of work our way over and finish off the Ford section. Check out the Ford Raptor. Um, the Rangers are nice. The smaller trucks are nice, but when you're spending forty-six thousand, you might as well go with the big half ton. Visit Peoria Bridal Shows.com. Shop 
shopping for furniture is hard, even if you find what you want. I do like this Array F-150 over here, though. The SX, or STX. I've always had problems with Fords, but I have a love-hate relationship with them. I drive them, and I hate them, but I love them, and I won't. <laughs> Plenty of room in the back for Blake. They're comfortable for road trips. I just never have the best of luck with them. Yeah, let's go check this Raptor out. Shocks on that thing. Looks like it's got box shocks. $73,000. Which this one has only a 3.5 Eco Boost in it. I feel like I'm gonna spend the money. I want the 6.2. It's got the moon roof in it. front seat. Seat's got Raptor logos on them. It does have paddle shifters. But yeah, for the price, I definitely want the bigger motor. Just the eco motor. Hey, I know she's right. Yes, the Yeah, it's nice. Gorgeous. Like I said, I've got the love hate relationship with Fords. I love them. I want another one, but I've never had the best of luck with them. The platinum edition. <laughs> so he's got the keys to this one. I love the little blue and all the buttons. This one's the platinum, so it says platinum. It's got the roll up steps too. I don't know if this is standard. Oh, yeah, so nice little step to get up. You got dual climate control back there yeah. too? Yeah. And we even have a, a plug in port. You oh, I think you USB. have USB. And you have heated seats. Yep. And you even have like a plug. Like a yeah. regular plug. A lot of these trucks have been having that plug back there now. Oh no, we don't have dual climate control. It's heated. Sorry, my bad. But it does have heated seats though, which is nice. Yeah. This one, 67000 So I'm literally. 20,000 more than the Ranger, and you get all them options. So, I think that's about it. I think we showed you guys pretty much everything here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that Camry before we get head out of here. So, we can see you guys here in just a second. It's definitely nice. Got a little TR design side skirt. with the black top. Spoiler actually looks nice on this thing. I definitely made this one kind of sporty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit, it's one of those spoiler. Just low profile stays down just like that. Pull the back seat show you good. Got your red seat belts. TRD. Just, just a nice looking camera. So this one, we're only one, no, thirty-three thousand, even for all the options. So it's definitely nice looking. Walk over here and show you guys some of the accessories you can buy for TRD. Just more Toyota accessories. The last car we show you guys before we head on out of here today is the new 2020 Super.
starting out at 49,000. Nice body lines to it. Shot guys. It's just the body lines on this car. Nice. Shot guys. Interior. Another just two person car. Right for if <laughs> you don't have kids. When you get old, especially. But yeah, that's it for this auto show. If you guys like our channel, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, follow us on Twitter, follow us on YouTube, or Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, just keep continuing to show us the love. Yeah, make sure you show us the like support. Button. We love you guys. Happily, we're growing. We're excited about it. Yeah, thank and you for the 500 subscriber. You're so excited. And yeah, we will see you guys on our next adventure. Bye, guys. Bye.